Mike, The Miz, Miz Hannon. This is the last time y'all gonna hear Johnny Man is. Good luck. Well, well, well. Don't just let any piece of <laughs> hang out in this remote hood, huh? This LA native is actually one of the kindest guys you'll ever meet. Bananas, tell me how first look has been. Ugh. A man, a myth, a legend. Travis Kelsey. Do you pick fights with Johnny to further your own career? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. It's great to finally meet you. It's great to finally meet you. It's quite a handshake you got there. So bananas, tell me how first look has been. You liking it? Who's interviewing who here? I'm asking you how it's been since you took my spot. Listen, it's been great, all right? It's pretty awesome, isn't it? During Ashley's reign as host, viewers watched her dance like a pro. You let the music move you, yeah. huh? Compared to my tenure, when viewers watch me dance like a drunken hobo. Should we cha-cha? Should we? Where are the maracas at? There's no maracas at cha-cha. Unless you want somebody's maracas. No, don't answer that. <laughs> don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> Cue Matt Harris, the man behind the routine we hope will turn Ashley and I into fast friends. How was I as a partner? You know, I have to say when you first came in, I was like, ugh, I don't know how this is gonna work. And parts where you removed your brain and really felt it, I really felt you lead, and I liked the connection that we had. I did too. Yeah, I Ready too. to meet the parents. Oh, that's, yeah. yeah, no, I wasn't going down that All right. Well, whose house are we doing Christmas at, mine or yours? Yeah, okay. This is the last time y'all gonna hear Johnny Man is. Good luck. This is Pittsburgh Steelers center Marquise Pouncey and his brother Mike, center for the LA Chargers. What am I doing? You gotta try to get by him inside the cone. <laughs> What's that over there? <laughs> that, my friends, is what training for the NFL looks like. But now, Cincinnati Bengals linebacker Carl Lawson is going to show me what it feels like. What happened to my shirt? This man happened to my shirt. In the NFL, there are players, and then there are ballers. Three, two, one. A man, a myth, a legend. Travis Kelsey. He's a four-time Pro Bowler. Really a beautiful route by Kelsey. Three-time All-Pro, and in 2018, he made Chiefs history with 1,336 receiving yards, the most recorded by a tight end in a single season. 6'5", 260, tall, dark, and handsome, sort of similar to myself. Going into his seventh season with the Chiefs, this year promises to be just as strong for Kelsey. With some pipes like that, man, I think I just so. Just got done working out, nice tan. But aside from his winning personality, there's more to Kelsey's success than meets the eye. Well, well, well. Don't just let any piece of <laughs> hang out in this neighborhood, huh? What up, man? You're on the wrong side of the pond here, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Clearly, we could use a lesson in minding our manners. And a job of this magnitude calls for an expert. Philip, how do you do? Kyle, a.k.a. the K-Dog. <laughs> Meet founder and principal of the British School of Etiquette, Philip Sykes. I hope you are ready for a long day at the office. I love it. I love a challenge myself. Jim, we're going to now cover the subject and topic of dining and table etiquette. So if we could all take a seat together, just step in your chair and then just pull your chair in under your bottom. There we go. How does knowing how to make a floral arrangement and flowers in general play into overall etiquette? You know, if you have any kind of table setting or in any room, flowers bring the beauty. This napkin remains on your lap throughout the meal. And one thing we never allow is elbows on the table. So please. I, al I already knew that. To make this, mm -hmm. we start off with cool dinner. Can I try one? Yeah, please okay. do. Okay. You want to pin that down for you? Yeah, go on then. My dear. Thank you very much. Now, what do we do with the roses? Oh. <laughs> oh, Careful with my stock. What about this stock? So I want you to both do this. What, what letters have we spelt here? B and D. Okay, so B stands for your bread, and the D is your drink. So your drink is always on the right, bread on the left. The cutlery starts from the outside and moves in. Do we spoon before we fork, or should you fork and then spoon? The spoon would be for soup, the knife and fork for a separate course. Spooning leads to forking. Nobody knows machete. With hundreds, maybe thousands of on-screen kills, this LA native is actually one of the kindest guys you'll ever meet.
I love you. <laughs> and one hell of a gearhead. You are, besides being an amazing actor, a car enthusiast, correct? So absolutely, but you know, most people like will buy them, mm -hmm. you know, after they're all done. Yeah. You know, we get them and restore them. How long ago did you get into classic cars? Oh God, my first car was a 1950 Buick. So within your collection, I mean, do you have a personal favorite or is it like like kids, you can't play favorites, you gotta love them all? You gotta love them all. But the 65 Buick Riviera, I think is probably one of the rarest cars that I have. I don't consider it a hobby, this is what I do. Like, I can tell you everything about this car. Yeah. You know, it's like it's a 1942 Chevy style master. The trick to this is that you can't open the trunk unless you do this. Oh, look at that, man. So How what tricky. we did was we, like, just put a different little sound system. So this didn't come with the original car, no. you're saying? <laughs> and where does Machete get his cars worked on? Don't look in Beverly Hills. It's Chubby's Automotive located deep in the valley. So this is the shop, huh? This is it. I've heard a lot about this place, man. It's where magic happens. This is my 49 Chevy pickup truck. And we're redoing the whole thing. We're putting in a mock-up engine in there, getting some stuff lined up. I want to see if you can get in there and handle that. Yeah, I got this. Oh, Muy fuerte. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Muy fuerte. Well, look out. Well, look at that guy. It's All tough. Right. There you go. Right. Put it down. <laughs> look at oh, this guy. My man. back. 2006, Johnny Bananas was your average 22-year-old who was picked out of obscurity to be on MTV's The Real World. But today, Johnny is here because he says he needs our help. Everybody welcome Johnny Bananas. You have a, 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 an arch nemesis. I do. And I do. His, his name is Wes Bergman. His name is Wes Bergman. Yeah. Maury, me and, me and Wes Bergman, all right, we've been going back and forth on reality television for well over a decade now. Right. I mean, Wes obviously is not, is not very attractive as it is, but when I'm on camera, he's even less attractive than normally. And I think Wes essentially wants to be me. Johnny is adamant that Wes is using Johnny to advance his career. 100%. Here's the deal, Maury. I need you to call Wes out on his bullshit and make him once and for all admit the fact that he doesn't actually hate me. He wants to wear my skin as a coat. <laughs> to Wes. Uh -huh. Do you bring up Johnny in your personal life because you are secretly obsessed with him? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Yeah! No way! No way! That's wow. Bananas is the greatest challenger of all time. Never settling for second best is the catalyst to our success. So, whenever Mike and I get together, a friendly competition inevitably ensues. I think it's only appropriate that we are starting today off in the goat pen. Because did you guys know that you were adopting two more goats this afternoon? <laughs> so I heard. What do you guys do here at Austin Farm Sanctuary? So our primary purpose is to rescue farm animals from a number of different situations, whether it's off the slaughter or like hoarding situations or abandonment. We have some that were just kind of left in the woods. We are really excited about being able to just come here and play with animals all day. We're excited about that as well, yeah. but we kind of got to earn your key. <gasps> it smells hot and musty. I mean, the flies won't even touch this thing. Oh, man. This is a really runny one. Holy cow. No Ooh. pun intended. I got it. You got it, Mike. I got it. Get it up there. All right, I'll be right behind you. Oh, my God, there's corn in this room. My God. What do you think this thing weighs? 1,000, 2,000 pounds? <sighs> I can do it. I don't think so, man. You'd think there'd be, like, a more efficient way to do uh, this than with your guys, hands. Guys, you could use these if you want. Do I look like Arnold? In Predator, do I look like The Rock? <laughs> Whoa! Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. For more, subscribe to First Look and come with me on all my adventures around the world. Who am I kidding? I'm probably sitting at home watching Netflix or playing Xbox. Either way, what are you waiting for? Just hit subscribe already.